Hello, this is Michael Grant, CAM Applications Engineer with Applied CAX. Today I'm going to cover a, a CAM support question from one of our customers um, about using the optimized feed rate for uh, specifically for a roughing operation. Um, so this is something you would use if you're concerned about chip load, um, depending on the pattern you use in NX. Um, your chip load could be somewhat inconsistent. Uh, one way to get consistent chip load is using trochoidal toolpath, but uh, some of our customers like to use the follow part and reduce the amount of looping. And so when you use a pattern like follow part or follow periphery, you're going to have some toolpaths that are um, a larger amount of engage. And so what the tool, what the optimize uh, feed rate can do is um, basically you set your nominal uh, step over, step down, and then uh, it will reduce or increase the feed rate as, as much as you'd like. So here I have uh, a mold uh, part file, uh, one of the sample parts, and uh, I'm using a cavity mill with a one inch uh, end mill. I've gone into the uh, edit display under options and I've set uh, it to show the feed rate and then um, by turning on display cut regions pause after display and refresh before display what it will do is show how the feed rates are adjusting on each level and so if I was to regenerate this you'll see it shows the cut regions which you can turn off and then um, say OK and it will go and show the feed rate right in the in the toolpath um, for that level right now it's just showing one feed rate um, I haven't really set the feed rate on this one yet so I'll review that um, I don't have optimize on yet so right now it just shows that one feed rate I'll hit cancel and then um, we'll go check our feeds and speeds um, I'm going to, I guess, pretend this is aluminum and we'll do like a 15,000 RPM, uh, at 250 feed rate is probably good, 250 inch per minute, 15,000 RPM, yep, that looks reasonable, um, and I'm going to turn on optimize. Before I do that, I'll go back. So right now I have uh, a half inch step over and a quarter inch step down so when I go into the speeds and feeds and turn on optimize feed rate uh, it did carry this over um, there there are times depending on how many times you've adjusted it that it might not bring in your your feed uh, optimal step over and step down but in this case it did bring those in um, so I'll accept that and right now I have it to where it could lower the feed rate by 50% and upper, um, increase it by 200%. Um, you know, I would say I normally uh, program at the highest feed rate I'd want. So I normally run this at 100%, but we can go ahead and try uh, 125% and then slow down by 50 uh, the length interval is how often it will um, change. Um, you know, I would say I normally run this uh, larger than the tool diameter. So, you know, in this case, I'll say like an inch and a half. But it is going to depend on your situation and, and the type of material and how forgiving it is. So I have it at uh, one and a half inches as far as the adjustment length. So I'll say OK. And we'll go ahead and generate. I'll go ahead and let it generate through this because it hasn't applied the optimize yet. And now I'll hit generate again. All right, so right now I'm not seeing the adjustment, so I'm going to go ahead and let this generate. And then we'll go into uh, verify. Can 
confirm I still have the feed rates turned on. So we are getting the optimized feed rate and the adjustment. Uh, for some reason, we're not getting the display. There we go. We're getting it under the anal analysis tools. I'm not sure if that's a issue with this particular release or my setup, but uh, I had to go into the analysis tool to be able to show these uh, feed rate adjustments. So you can see that we've got, uh, you know, definitely um, our feed rate is up to optimized and adjusting based on. Uh, the amount of engagement radially. So here's a profile pass where it's getting some increased feed rate and then coming into the corner it's slowed down. If you want to see uh, the updates while you're verifying, I'm going to go ahead and hit F5, refresh. Under uh, preferences, manufacturing preferences, um, one of the options is to update the status line. So under the uh, file, utilities, customer defaults, one of the options is to disable, disable the status line update. Um, right now I have that uh, disabled. Uh, it will slow down your, your toolpath replay a little bit, um, but what it does is you'll see this update uh, while you're playing a toolpath. And so you can see our feed rate adjusting. And then right now I have the uh, toolpath display on current level. And then in uh, 3D, you can do the same thing, uh, toolpath display, current level. And then on this one, you can uh, turn on additional display options. And so I'll go ahead and uh, play through that. And then you can see uh, for the 3D, you don't get a status line update. Um, but if you were to slow down, if I had uh, restarted this, you'd see an update on the feed rate as it's playing through it. All right, so that's a little bit about uh, optimizing feed rate and then also ways to analyze your toolpath. So again, if you go into uh, edit the operation, if you have the analysis tools. And uh, I would say normally... Uh, the feed rate would show every late uh, ev during replay also would show the different feed rates uh, for some reason on this particular uh, setup of NX I'm not getting that I do uh, see it when I do the refresh you can see the different feed rates in there and you could certainly uh, zoom in to see kind of what they're doing um, and then also during replay, you can click on different areas of your toolpath and see uh, what the current feed rate is for that area of the tool toolpath. Under analysis, uh, you can analyze uh, the levels and look at your feed rates uh, one level at a time. 
So I just turned on refresh and that gets rid of the uh, to the level prior so that you're not looking at overlapping uh, levels. And then under edit display uh, you have you know you can turn on uh, more visual options arrows as far as the direction and line numbers. All right, hopefully this is helpful when it comes to optimized feed rate. It's a, a great way to be able to uh, save your, you know, extend your tool life and also uh, get a better finish, uh, less vibration on your workpiece and uh, be able to increase your feed rates overall, um, not have to have someone at the machine uh, kind of standing over the feed override and, and trying to adjust it manually. Uh, this will do it for you and you'll get a much better sounding toolpath. Thank you very much, and uh, if you have any further questions, please look us up under AppliedCAX.com. Thanks.